Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to XCOM. So last time my uh, hardest difficulty playthrough uh, failed. So as to uh, help with that, I'm going to turn on all of these, but I'm going to leave it on classic. Oh man. Yep, Arthur C. Clarke. I'm aware of him. You know it, you love it. Excuse me. You know, didn't we watch this cutscene? I'm gonna skip this. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo three one. Do we see this? I don't feel like I remember this. Devil's Moon. Being deployed to Germany at 1900 hour Zulu. Several unidentified objects fell to Earth. Yeah, yeah. Central, this is Big Sky. Yeah, I don't remember this. Did I have the tutorial turned off last time? Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Huh. I would think that I would remember this if I would have seen it, right? Maybe I shouldn't have skipped that cutscene then. Ah, fresh-faced randos. Central, you getting all this? Copy that. Delta cool statue. Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. This debris? Okay. Yeah, so this is a right proper tutorial. I don't think I did this. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Okay. Delta Two, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Okay. Delta 4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you better double time it. Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Volin, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, man. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. So I'm guessing the tutorial is like a supposed to lose fight. This is weird. I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Yeah, these are all mechanics that we don't even. I I just what the, the fuck happened? Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Not even provisionally granted? What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. 
All right, Delta Squad. We're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Oh, I hate that. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Okay. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. It does look clear. Delta Two, that door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. I love how their clip, their foot clips through the door for just a second. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Just shoot him. Copy Delta Three. Okay, everyone, get into position nearby, but do not approach. Shoot him now. Haven't you ever seen a movie? See if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. What if I go here? Keep your eyes open, people. I don't nope, like gotta follow the tutorial. Delta three, move in and disarm him carefully. Why? Don't startle him. Why would you? Oh, man. Well, there goes one. Central, protecting fire for multiple x rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Okay, um. Damn it. Delta 2, your flank 2. Find some better cover. Oh, here's where it wants me to go. All right, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Nice shot. Delta Four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. It won't kill him. Oh, it will kill him. On this difficulty, at least. Now get ready for their counterattack. Yeah, I kind of foresaw that. Delta Four, there's another one coming in behind you. Bro. Damn it! It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. Okay. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Anything? Oh, man. Central, I think that's it. It's over. The big bee's just gonna come out of nowhere and sting him. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Stock technology noise. Whew. Okay. What's the deal? I like this one. Why not? I guess I'll do this one then. We are coming home. Was that just where I'm going? Okay, that makes more sense then. Because I want to be able to pick where my base goes. And I like Africa.
They look so bulky. They're like action figures. What are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. That was your best? Oh, excuse me, doctors. The commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Huh. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Okay. The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. I want to promote him. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. All right, cool. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. What will they? Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. W will they not know what hit them? Like... Okay, I think we've seen this one. Alright, I want better weapons. I feel like if I'm gonna be hit, I'm just gonna die. Commander to mission control. The enemy is... Alright. Hmm. Understood. But Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. I guess we'll take one vet on there. I wanted to avoid having, like, all the soldiers on there. I wouldn't be able to promote guys. This is fine, though. Let's boogie. We're heading into China for the next operation. I think we're gonna see enough Hold of this on, Sky Ranger. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Open the door, quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay, now take cover inside. Alright, now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Good thing I played this tutorial, Jesus. There they are. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. What if I wanted to give the word, huh? I'm the commander. And you go there. I feel like the roof is probably good. Now we have the high ground. Mm. Sixty six percent chance. Oh, okay, yeah, I knew about that part.
you hunker there. Well, not literally, like, in-game terms, hunker. But just finish that guy off, huh? Thank you. Can we grenade him? Yes, we can. Assuming command now as you sweep the rest Good. of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. Okay. Now I am still hoping that I'm gonna get to pick where I put my guy. Or my base, I guess. Where are these aliens at, huh? He's so heavy. He hits the ground. He's like this fucking brick shit house. Right. I want you to go on Overwatch. It's not much that way, so. I guess go. Here? Yeah. And go on Overwatch. Now you move up to here. And then Overwatch. Okay. Oh god, they could be over there though. Oh, I hate this. Oh, man, I really hate this. Now that I have a chance, I actually kind of feel tense. Oh. Okay. Scooch up there. I want you to be able... Okay, so there's, there's some over there. Okay. Over here. Boy, do ya. <sighs> this ought to be good. Okay, they're doing their brain link thingy. structure the aliens are using for cover and if we're lucky it'll take out the aliens along with it that is if it hits if it hit you I didn't want to shoot at that I clicked on it to see if I could aim I couldn't I tried to click away that was bullshit that was straight bullshit be a thing that I would have reloaded for, but I guess I can't. Because I'm on Iron Man. Like, if I even... Yeah, I can just save and exit and that's all. Okay, so he's got one of them flanked. That's pretty good. Oh. Good work out there, strike one. If you kill them while they're mind link, they get the fucked over. On high alert. Cool.
That's probably a really necessary tactic. The All right. Class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Okay, run and gun. Just like it sounds, support. the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. And we got a sniper. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Ooh, the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. All right. China's helpful, the panic has increased in North America. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, the Situation Room provides constant okay. monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. And they'll take their funding and additional support with them. I like how they're pausing the dramatically because they know. confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. The Doom Tracker? <laughs> Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. The Doom Tracker, huh? Commander. Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Okay. Yeah, by now we would have gotten like three missions. Commander, schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. Cool. Commander. Well, is this research complete? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Thank you, Com Commander, to engineering. All right. Fabrication of this. Commander, to the barracks. Commander, oh, to wait, the I barracks. Want... I want two more of these. Actually, I want four total. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Okay. Yuri Cosmos? That's a dope name. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's get... Loadout. And then let's get our snipper. Why not, huh? Just a whole team of scopes. Commander, the council has requested a word. That word is albatross. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. The dramatic pauses between everyone's, like, speech is kind of silly. As you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. And if you could pick up some more Doritos when you're at the Sounds store. Sounds like we better get to it. That would be great. Thank you. All right. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. You know what? Let's put a let's put a total newbie in here. Oh man. 
this. Oh boy. Hey, it's my birthday in XCOM. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Let's boogie. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Okay. I feel like I'm still in the tutorial, and that's kind of wild. Like, the tutorial gives you a month for free. It gives you all these soldiers, like... Wow. Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Yeah, I want to approach slowly. Maybe we can. There we go. What the fuck? They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. The fuck is that thing? I hate that. That's the worst. Okay, so she can't move and shoot in the same turn anyway. So I guess we may as well just dash her up here. So then he can shoot me and I'll lose my sniper. What the hell? Indeed. Great. Great. I knew it was a good idea to bring a complete rookie onto this squad. Okay, we gotta scope. Perfect. And that's the same poison effect, which means that I probably shouldn't walk in that, huh? Yeah, that's going a big overwatch for you. We don't need emergency evac. Just stop standing in the poison. Oh, now you're making the other ones freak out. Are you kidding me? You people are jackasses. This is perfectly fine. She got shot once. And then she just started freaking out. Oh, two aliens. Are you guys going to start shooting each other? God. I'm so mad that you should... You're the sniper. You're supposed to be good. Like, a, I, I did a little reading in between episode one and two. Like, apparently snipers are, are game-breaking in this fucking game. No, no, I wanna go home. Uh, not you. How about you? Let's do this. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. And this is, it's all her fault. Oh, Okiki? Deka Okiki. All, all her fault. She got poisoned, she started freaking out. Her panic panicked the sniper. Like that was a cascade of failures. Don't you dare. How dare you? Oh. She's only critically wounded. What? What's happening? No. This isn't right. This isn't right. Completely normal things are happening. Stop shooting your teammates.
Like, everything that has happened so far is a completely normal thing that could happen on any mission at all. Okay, so... 65 and... Ugh... There's one. What? Oh, it's just the car. I thought I was being flanked like a motherfucker. Don't you dare. You better not. Working on it, dude. You're a jack off. Okay, you get over there. Maybe you can do something worthwhile. Enemy in sight. Oh. Well, fantastic. Gotta find some cover. And she's also flanked. You better shoot this guy. Well, she shot him, but just didn't kill him. Alright, I'm losing two squad mates. I'm resigning myself to it. Oh no! Someone who panicked at the first sign of an alien while she's in XCOM. I know, I'm working on it. Okay, now I have you flanked. 97. If you miss, I'm uninstalling this game. Dead and gone. Good. How about you just get the hell up there? Enemies in sight. We definitely have someone who's uh, gonna bleed out. Oh god, and she, she's trying flanked. Flank trying nothing. They have successfully flanked you. Oh my god. You're all so stupid. Oh, you hit him though. Okay, so if I hit X, I switch. Thank you. Help me over here. I know, I'm I'm aware of your position. And you're not helping, in fact. Let's reload this guy. And let's uh, switch her back. And put her on Overwatch. Come on, just take one little stippy step out here. I'm aware. I know you're here. better not. Alright, you missed. Where are you? Help! I'm literally 
I'm 10 feet from you. You have to help me. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. There's one. We have to get out of here. There's one on this map. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. I don't know who you are. But I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. You might be dead even if we have shown up. Well, the match hasn't ended right now, so that isn't good. Uh, get here and just, what is it, hunker down, head down. Funny. Yeah, there's still aliens. Well, yippee. Going to Overwatch. Those things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. What is there not to understand? Okay. Now I'm seeing no one here. So what if you just run straight ahead? Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. I ah. That isn't good. Wow, that's really not good. All right, I want this guy, Tim Ramirez. I want him to survive. Thank God you found me. I would have ended up just like all the others. I'm get. I get. I get it. Is it too late for you, like, to ask you to go into like that that part of uh, that part of being a victim where you're just traumatized and you go mute, you know? Ah, oh, brother. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. We're aware. Shut the fuck up. Anna saying you might not make it. She's dead. What? Stay alert, strike one. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's so dead. Is she? Can I see? Oh, she's okay. Well, there goes that guy. Well, if I manage to keep my, uh... We're receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. I'm Enemy aware. forces are likely closing on your location. Come on, survive. Yeah, look at that. Well, no matter what, you're going to be fine. Now you... Oh god, I've just left her in the open. I thought she would have been able to run over here. Heads up, boys and girls. Uh, let's risk it. Right for you. 
Oh my god, I'm the luckiest boy. Anna's saying, if you can't get your ass in here. Wait. Okay. Come on. <laughs> nice. <sighs> it worked. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Wait, what do you mean? Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. I do? Just receive some intel that hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. This is fun. All right, reload that fucking gun. Eyes peeled, strike one. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat. Hostiles approaching your position. <sighs> I can't. I can't move her to go flank him. And she's only got a 44% chance of hitting. Let's roll the dice. Wow. That was pathetic. Hostiles are headed your way, strike one. Prep for contact. Is that all you got? Missed him. All right. <laughs> Nice. All right. Three people died. However, they were all rookies. And one of them really deserved to die. What a good XCOM birthday I've had. All right. Promoted to Corporal. Look at you. Snapshot or squad site? Uh, oh, that's useful, but I lose a lot of points, whereas this one, wow, that's busted. That's a, that's a level two thing? That's so busted. All right. Laboratory. Good thing you got there, Rudy. We don't think she would have last, yeah. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. All right. Let's launch a satellite. Uh, yeah. United States, Mexico. Uh, wow, United States gives me a whole lot of money. No interceptors. Uh, transfer interceptors. Okay. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. I'm not sure about right away, dude. Can we take a little bit? Well, we literally can't. So, great. Seen this cutscene. Yada yada. Commander. They start Commander to engineering. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Commander. Let's get it way the hell out here. Thank you, Commander. Commander to the research lab. Who is jackhammering in here? Commander. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. Let's go. On the All right. Ugh. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So the UFOs are actually kind of weak. If the fight was like this... Like, I shot him twice and he went down. Let's head on over. All right. Um, yeah, the thing is, is I don't, I really don't want to like rely on this many people so early. So I'll get these, no, I'll get these two out and I'll put in Yuri and Conrad. Conrad Koenig. Yuri Cosmos. Now that's a hero right there. Okay, we've got two scopes and two frag grenades. We have level, we have two level zeros, we got one level one, we got one level two. I'm hoping that that'll be enough. Strike one, prepare for landing. That's boogie. Our target site is near the German border. Cool. Let's go say hello. and clear big sky we'll monitor those readings from here strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft all right you hunker down cosmos looks like the crash site is dead ahead we should expect heavy resistance here there's no telling how many hostiles were on board no kidding approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible okay so it's ahead, yeah. And that that's an ability, so it has a cooldown, so I won't pop it just yet. Let's get down behind this. I guess him, I could technically have sprint ahead, because he's got a got everyone else on him, so. Kazumi, you are moving last. All right. Cuz I'm I'm going to want that squad site, I think. I just got this awful feeling. Oh, I'm so worried about everything. Still moving last. Sprint him up here. Aliens. Sixty percent chance. What about that one? Forty percent chance. Let's try it. Wow. I thought that that was going to be a really bad idea. What about this? So because of squad sight, she can see him, and the odds are almost as good. I mean. She's like 30 feet away. Let's be honest here. She's like so far away. Let's just try drilling him again. Big cutscene. Damn straight he is. Yuri Cosmos. Craft is still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship we'll have to look for an opening well i remember that an energy being came out of it last time so i'm thinking that i might just want to hide my ass oh let's let's scoot her up we need more people besides yuri in there and he's already on overwatch i can't imagine that there's gonna be that much more like defense Oh god, there's a whole other side here. Alright, you scoot up. Because you can't move and fire in the same term anyway, so. You may as well just get your ass ahead. Cosmos, you get that double cover there. And then go into Overwatch mode. Vogel, you dash up there. To withstand an impact like that. Such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. 
The readings coming from that creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. Seen. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. I gather. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. Oh wait, can we grenade it right away? God fucking damn it! I did the thing where I clicked and I wanted it to do something, but it it just selected the fucking grenade again. And now that guy doesn't have anything. Oh, Jesus. I'll be honest, that's some hot bullshit. I'm, I'm legitimately so... Fucking God. I hope your bravado doesn't bleed out of you as your uh, teammates are slowly and surely murdered. Oh, man. One whole percent. Well, let's have her scoot up and see if we can't fix that. Can you throw? Indeed. Incoming. And it didn't hit him. All right, 50%, 20%. Take the 50. <gasps> it killed him. That's so cool. Okay, they're doing their mind suck. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we can't, like, work this guy over a little bit. Wow. I'm like legit impressed. Okay, big cool cutscene. That's him. What about the other guy? He's still in there, huh? Okay, you are going to hunker the hell down. You might not even move from that spot. Like, you're gonna be lucky to be able to make it to the hospital. Okay. No target. Let's turn on caps lock, don't mind me. Okay, you guys... You run up there. I was hoping that that would flank him, but I guess not. Now with squad sight, maybe I'll be able to shoot him. This is full cover, so I want to be behind this. Oh, and I can shoot at him as well. 6% chance? Oh, what don't mind if I do? And no one was surprised. Yeah, you don't say? Oh, she still can't hit him, huh? Then I guess you may as well get over here, then. Alright, worst case scenario, one person dies.
Let's have you get over here. And let's... Let's go for the normal, just in case we get a normal... Just in case something fucking weird happens. Nice. Oh. Oh, wow. Alright, now get that girl in a hospital. Right quick. Oh, man. Oh, fuck, I just realized I need to focus on having everyone kill, not just my sniper. Alright. Um... Kills 10. Is that total kills or in that mission? Because holy shit. Sergeant, damn good ground. Uh, cause both of these are situational. And she has had to use her pistol. Oh, I'll just gamble on it. He's an assault, that's cool, like that. And he's an assault, rad. I love assaults. Got a whole bunch of shit. Welcome back, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I to speak to you about our... Okay. So I'm thinking that the game's probably going to open up now, right? Let's... Let's get four of these. Actually... I've got the money. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for I do want another one of those. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Alright, and then... Officer Training School. I've got six whole credits to my name. Uh, and we're halfway through the month. Arc throw is done, yada yada. Um, experimental warfare. Oh yeah, let's do one of these, absolutely. Let's start with the We've default. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to have a sectoid sort of telepathic ability. Okay. Mmm, 40 bucks, okay. I'm starting to see why starting in America can be really good. Power generators up and running. Actually, no, wait. We you can you can keep going on that. Carry on. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the right. council. Let's go on. Uh ooh, ooh, ooh. Fallen expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here. Yeah, let's launch a mission. That you will handle this matter with Raven. Okay, um Cosmos, you did a great job, but I'm thinking we need to start training up more guys. Uh, let's go with Ernesto Torres. Heavy. Connie did a good job too. Let's go with Ari Golan. This is a. Uh, I, I actually played a lot of Darkest Dungeon, um, as you may be able to tell by my love of uh, the genre of rogue likes. Prepare for deployment strike one. Uh, so I'm I'm very used to uh, having to do a lot of shit like, ooh, hey, let's uh, let's let's get some new guys in because we can't rely on one team. But that's all the time I have for this episode. Even though I have much more time, but uh, I have been recording for an hour. Um, I had too much fun. 
Uh, so this is a lot more manageable difficulty. It's still a good difficulty. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This has been XCOM, and I've been Alfred. Uh, bye.